no, it's falling down already. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I need to like nail this in or something. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to part number two of this turbo install on my JZX100 Chaser. I am so excited to start today's video off because today is going to be a big one. We're going to get the turbo on the car, hopefully, or on the engine. We're going to hopefully get the turbo on the engine today and start piecing everything together in order to get this thing started and running for the very first time. Before we get started, I'm going to quickly give you a recap on what we did um, in the previous video. So we managed to take the OEM turbo off. It is sitting right Right over here as well as the headers the J pipe all the different bits that sort of make up the stock OEM turbo and as you can see there is no turbo in there so we've got the complete hot side off the car and yeah plenty of room for activities started installing everything we are also going to compare both the turbos man i need to arrange this all up make it nice and pretty and presentable bam and that's a little bit better so before we get started just to remind you all i'm learning as i go so this is stuff that i've never done before everything that i'm telling you guys i don't fully yet understand but i sort of am learning so i kind of know what i'm talking about it's great because i'm taking you along the journey of me learning and hopefully hopefully you're learning too so this right here is a gtx 3076 gen 2 pulsar turbo it is, it's a big boy. It's capable of 400 kilowatts. I don't really want to say a specific number, but you can get, I've seen cars get 400 kilowatts out of this turbo, um, obviously on ethanol. We also have a GCG internal wastegate. So we aren't going external gate anytime soon. We haven't planned to do that. I will only go external gate and scrim a pipe if I need to make more power, which I probably won't want after. <laughs> So you can see as well, we have all the lines, the oil feed line, we have the coolant lines and also the oil dump line because this is a bolt-on turbo kit. Now you probably heard me mention PJ's name a million times now and that's because he is the creator of this bolt-on turbo kit. And what I've been told, a lot of the bolt-on turbo kits you can get for 1JZs online aren't technically fully bolt-on. You see, they have all these fitment issues in certain places. There's some turbos out there that you have to do some slight modification to the car in order to fit properly. And that's not exactly what we want to do. So this is a fully bolt-on turbo kit. You can mount this up to your stock JZX100 chaser any 1JZ GTE VVTi car and it will bolt directly on. It also uses the stock J pipe, which Pucci can provide for you. It's been modified slightly to fit the compressor housing of this turbo. And of course, other little bits that go on with this turbo kit, such as this thing, which is, yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> He also provides you with a oil feed adapter, so that'll go directly into your block so you don't have to do anything there. And it also, of course, because it's a bolt-on turbo kit, all these lines fit in the exact spots that you would want them to fit in. So you don't have to modify anything. The lines are already done for you. Suss that. Absolutely awesome. And of course, if you do want one of these bolt-on turbo kits, you can go GTX 3076, GTX 3582. I don't know if PJ does the uh, G30 series or any of those other turbos, but hit him up. Instagram right here, message him. And if you could all do me a favor, go like his latest post and say that Rex H sent you because that will mean a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Woo. Oh, God damn it. Cool. just spilled all over my hands. <sighs> Ah, dang it. Alright, so we have the two turbos right next to each other. Have a look at the difference between the two. You can see right now that the difference in size compared to the new turbo and then and the old turbo look at the look at the blade size it's it's crazy so because this is a gtx 3076 the numbers mean numbers off the top of my head but 30 is the frame size i believe or this generation of turbo um i'm pretty sure the 76 is the exducer size of the this blade at the front right here the compressor blade um not too sure on the specs of this oem turbo but have a look at the, the size difference it's it's pretty astronomical. Just how everything's made on this new turbo, you can see right in the hole in there, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's big all the way down through. Whereas on the old turbo, the CT15, yeah, the camera's not gonna pick it up, but it sort of converges down smaller and smaller as it goes through. Of course, the air goes up out this way to the intercooler, but the size difference is definitely noticeable. 
PJ has also drilled in a nipple right here so I can have a boost reference. You can see that I had a boost reference um, coming off here on this turbo. So this turbo doesn't actually come with a nipple uh, for your boost controller right from the factory. So you can choose to do this. And I'm pretty sure that's what this little spot is made for. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but it does mean that we're gonna be able to use our boost controller that we have currently installed in the car, which is absolutely awesome. I've got the lines just chilling right here. Just need to find a better way of sort of mounting that because it's been double-sided taped on for the whole time I've had it on. <laughs> All right, so before we get started on anything, we're gonna start painting stuff in the engine bay. So Chase's engine bay is not looking good. I've seen cleaner ones and I wanna replicate that. So I'm gonna start painting things like the heat shield. As you can see right here, it's pretty crusty. We need to clean that. And we also need to chop this, I believe, to fit the new turbo and the housing. So you can see that's, that's pretty gross. I'm not sure if I wanna paint this yet because you can't even see it, um, but we might end up doing that, the extractors or headers or whatever you wanna call it um, as well, because they're pretty, Pretty gross as well. Oi, hey, hey, yo, is that Drake? Is that Drake? Oh, what's going on, bro? What's going on? <laughs> Dude, you wanna see my snails? I got, I've got two snails now, and one of them's bigger than the other. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you got two snails in there already, but, yeah. but I'm gonna have one big snail. Let's keep both in. What do you mean, bro? Ah, you go, bro. Have a sus, oh. take the plastic off. Yeah, pull it off, you just take it off. Yeah, nice. what do you reckon? Nice, nice. Oh. Not bad, Doesn't huh? Just say Toyota, though. Yeah, well, fake. What do you mean? Benky After spec market? right here. Thank you, Spec. Thank you, Toyota. Should have kept the original, man. I don't, I don't agree Dude, with this. Dude, I should put a Benky sticker on the turbo. No, Benky Spec, not Benky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, what do you think? What do you reckon? Oh, I can't wait. It goes in. Yeah. Do you reckon you give me a chance in the CC3? I don't know. So, obviously, Daniel's car is... It's cooked. It's actually ridiculous. This, man. Yeah, it's just some tape. But... Yeah, his car is insane, and it would be pretty crazy if I did That's end up running you, but I don't think I will. You know, reckon? I don't know. I don't what? know. I don't want to claim anything yet, rolling? otherwise. Or maybe, not maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Rolling. Definitely see. not off the line, because your car's pretty quick off the line, bro. <laughs> yeah, but unless I, unless I was under th under three seconds, under four seconds. I think it's three point nine. Yeah, it's cooked. Yeah. Yeah. Normal. Yeah, it just goes right here. Should should be pretty good. So we've cleaned everything. I've also gone ahead and cleaned the block um, where the manifold sits. So you can see it's all clean here and also clean the gaskets. We're gonna have to get some different sealant for the gaskets because we are reusing them, which is totally fine. And we're just gonna get some copper sealant to seal this all up when we do put this on. But um, we will have to test fit everything before I go ahead and start painting because I believe that heat shield that I just cleaned might need to be cut. So in order to fit that bigger turbo, we probably will have to chop around here. So before we do anything, I'm gonna put the turbo on. Nike's here as well, excited. And we're gonna put the turbo on, put everything on, test fit everything, and then see exactly how much I need to cut off that shield. But nothing too big, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna now bolt the manifold on the turbo. So there is four bolts that go right here, right there. And yeah, yeah. It's a matter of figuring out which way it all goes. Oh, fuck. All right. This is it. We're going to chuck the turbo on for the very first time on my car. I'm very excited. I've seen this turbo on PJ's test car. I call it a test car because it hasn't been driven in, in forever and he just uses that car to make all the turbo kits. Big boy. Mm, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Oh. Can we hold anything? Mm, I'll be good. <laughs> Just be careful with these lines. Maybe we'll. Oh god! He said there was a way of doing it. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure PJ told me to do it another way. So I'm not following him again. So I better read up on his messages. Okay, maybe before we do that, we're going to install this adapter right here. So this is a. Aeroflow adapter and what it does is it goes into the block in the stock location of your other oil feed line So you can use um, any sort of like AN fitting or something Which of course PJ has done and this will be included in the kit if you do purchase one of these There it is right there and just goes into the block Okay, so we now have that oil feed adapter thingo majigo It's all on there and I've just been instructed to tighten it up just snug So you can see it just goes right there just below this uh, thermostat slash water 
pipeline. Okay, so the easiest way that we're gonna get this turbo into the car is we need to put the turbo in the engine bay first, then get the manifold on the engine, and then lift the turbo up in place of the manifold and then get those bolts on. So I was already told to do that. I just completely forgot, so I had to go back over my messages and confirm, so. All right, so we've gone to the shops and we bought ourselves some copper sealant. It's a gasket maker, and we're going to place it all around the gaskets and between the block and the exhaust gaskets. So we're going to get it pretty much everywhere um, so it seals up nice and well because we are reusing these gaskets. So it just gives us that little bit of extra insurance in case uh, it does for some reason start uh, want to leak. Um, you see this ring as well, we're going to place some uh, sealant in there as well. So this ring stays in place. Uh, I've never used this stuff before, so hopefully it's good. Okay, so we finally have everything on, ready to get the headers back on there, the manifold. What we're gonna do is sort of rest the turbo in this little pocket right here, and then put the headers on and lift the turbo up. Um, I might need your help, dude. Naki, need, yep. need your help, bro. Because I'm probably to just do the bolts. Okay. Bolts, yeah, I'll leave you in a second, but. Shouldn't be too hard, but I'll put some sealant all around here, so. Should be good, I'm just gonna clean the back side of the uh, extractors. I, I don't know what you call them, I, I don't know. I keep calling them different names. Headers. Oh, look, the flag's falling down again. God damn it. Did you tape it? <laughs> yeah, I did. Ah. See, my dad, my, my dad won't let me drill into the bricks, so that's why the flag keeps falling down, so. <laughs> yeah, you eight. think that much tape would be enough? Yeah, right? This doesn't like the heat. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even recording. What? Yeah. You were recording? That's the first time that's happened. <laughs> Just explain. Dude, Naki and I just spent like 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 10 minutes trying to get this turbo on and I didn't even click record. Ah, look how sweaty he is. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend like we... Just we'll just pretend like we did it. God dang it. Yeah, well, we'll just pretend. You ready? <laughs> ready? Oh, it's on. Ah, yeah, hell yeah, bro. It's on. <laughs> It's like with the um the XR6 thing. That, see, they, don't, they won't ever know about that, but when one of my videos like yeah. a fake doing something, but <laughs> very early on, very early on. Yeah, Alright guys, we finally have the turbo on. It's all in the right positioning and everything. The lines aren't in yet, but we're still gonna do the bolts up, which we'll do soon. But have a look at this. This is the new turbo that's on that will be running. It is huge in there. Have a look at that. The clearances between everything are very small, but they're definitely there. So it means that it is going to fit. The wastegate fits, which I know a lot of people are probably going to be worried about, but the wastegate fits perfectly. And there is heaps of clearance. The lines are all on. Highly recommend if you get one of these kits. I don't know if PJ is going to sell them with the lines on, but you make sure that you put the lines on before you install the turbo. But it uses the factory oil drain line as well. So we're just going to reuse this. And if this breaks, we can just pick one up really cheap anyway from Toyota. I'm pretty sure they still sell them. Um, we still need to put the studs in the back of the rear housing of the turbo as well, which PJ provides as well as some like locking sort of washers that he makes. Locking nuts. That's the one. Have a look at that. So we're going to bolt everything up, get it all torqued down and then see what we can do from there. But it's pretty much on. Have a sus, dude. Come here, Ash. Have a, have a sus, bro. Oh, dude, what the hell? Yeah, bro. No. Oh, oh, it's massive. Oh, hey, Naki, bro. Come have a look. Ah, uh. that, that is a big boy, though. No it's cap. actually enormous, yeah. No cap. That's a big boy. Yeah, damn. Hell yeah, that's yeah. dangerous, man, dude. I know. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared for you, man. <laughs> yeah, baby. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, so funny. yeah, he's comparing him. Compare the, the snails. Oh, he's <laughs> good. He's done. He's got us the ice cream. Oh, cheers, man. Cool, man. Thanks, man. So if you haven't heard, we're doing a massive merch release on the bankyspec.com website in the description down below. And we've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming out there. So we've got a bunch of stickers, t-shirts. And now we also have our first delivery of jet tags. Have a look at this. I'm so excited to get these launched. Jet tags with the should run characters in Japanese. And we also have the key to happiness. How sweet, how sweet. So the tags along with a whole bunch of other products will be released on the 15th of this month. So get excited. It's definitely partially the reason why we haven't been as uploading as consistently as before. Um, just because it's been taking so much time off my hands trying to get this website up and running and all. But 
I am next level keen for that too. You also probably noticed this t-shirt, the XV20 t-shirt. We do need to talk about this car, the Camry, that's my daily um, because currently it's broken down in my street. But massive thank you to Daniel Hertz on Instagram. He sent me this all the way from Canada. How sweet is this? XV20, that is literally my car. Like it's got wheels, they're not the same, but they're pretty much the same. So you can actually hit up him on Instagram as well and he will also, I think still has some of these t-shirts available. So maybe if you want one of these, hit him up. There will be a limited amount of stuff being released on the 15th. So make sure if you want to get some stuff, you get in early because it will get sold out. In the next video, we're going to finish up installing the turbo and finally get the car almost to the point of starting it. We do have to wait for some bits and Victoria has just gone into a five day lockdown. So we won't be able to really do anything um, for the next five days or so. So that's a little bit sucky, but we'll be on the grind as soon as that's over. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll catch you later. Ciao.